just uh, giving you recording rights right now. Um, we have both Shana and Bendu. It's a little difficult with the Zoom to get them both on the screen. So if you have a question for Shana, Bendu will uh, yeah. gladly uh, pass the computer over and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Quick note, uh, Bendu Yaney uh, matched the seat or passed, surpassed her season high tonight. So good job tonight, Bendu. Must have been nice to be back in your home state. It was. So one sec, let me just make sure everyone has recording rights. Hello. Um, okay, let's see, Jason Barr. Yep, and Kim Das. Let's see. All right, guys, so just um, as per usual on the Zoom front, if you go ahead and use the raise hand function and I will uh, get you guys in the order that you raise it. Um, so with that being said, we will start off with the question for Ben with questions for Bendu and Shana. Uh, Kim, go ahead. I don't think Kim can hear me. Kim, if you want to get us started. Sorry, I was still on mute. <laughs> no, no worries. <laughs> so for both of you, that there at the end, um, Shana, when you drove and passed to Bendu, what were you both seeing there and can you both take us through that that play to tie it up? Well, Tori and I was driving um, into the paint. Uh, we knew that they're in a compact uh, the entire key. They've been doing that the entire game. So um, the objective was, you know, to get the best shot and kicking the ball out to Bendu. Bendu was patient with the ball, and she was able to use her strength and drive and get a really good shot at the rim. So um, it couldn't have gone any better than that. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, I think Shayna has been doing a good job finding, you know, shooters and just finding different players, you know, putting them in the right positions. And, you know, she found me on the corner after she got like triple teamed and I saw the big come come out from the basket. So I knew that I had a, a wide open lane if I drove it. And so I just took the, the, the layup instead of the shot. All right, Javi. Oh, you're still muted. Shane, uh, when did you find out that you were able to play and uh, just talk about how you've been, you know, this is the first game you've had in over three weeks. So just talk about how you responded like, like you did. Um, so I found out I was able to play uh, uh, literally Wednesday um, when I was able to come out and, you know, I knew I was going to be traveling with the team. Uh, my, my mindset coming into this game, we just know what, you know, I, I put the work in. Um, we had a couple practices before we traveled um, here. So, you know, my objective in practice is, you know, get back my work and, you know, try and be available and trying to, you know, help my team the best way I can. So. Uh, PJ? So, Shana, what was the play call on that last, on your, your, your game winning shot? Um, it, it, it was just a high ball screen in the middle of the paint. Um, that was something that was working for both uh, me and Bendu throughout the entire course of the game. Um, just to, you know, have a one on one cover with which they're with their post player um, in the middle of the key. Uh, and it, we had a lot of success doing that. So, yeah, that, that was the play call. Middle ball screen in the middle of the floor at five seconds and, and then attack and get whatever shot I could. So. Um, any more questions for the student athletes? Yes, Shana, uh, uh, real quick, uh, how did it feel after you put all that work in with your shooting in the offseason to hit that game winning shot? Um, it's very rewarding, you know, to, to see, you know, what I've worked on, like translate in the games. You know, I spent a lot of time um, playing with my national team and, you know, that was the area of focus for me overseas, as well as it was here for the little time I was here for during the summer. So um, it's really nice to see those shots go in. Um, it's getting to the point for me, confidence wise, where if, if I'm confident, I'm going to shoot it, you know, um, and, and I've been shooting pretty well, so I'm happy about that. All right, PJ again, one sec. I think uh, yeah, we might be, we might be a little frozen on that. And okay, cool. PJ. Okay. For Shana and Bendu, you know, you guys came out in the third quarter and both of you guys just sort of took over. I know, Bendu, you've been doing it for the last couple of games. Shana, you haven't been in uh, for a while. You got two quick fouls in the first half, Shana. And then second half, it's like you decided to come in and, and do your stuff. What was sort of going through your mind at that point for both of you? Um, I just knew we, 
Well, especially with me, I knew that if I'm aggressive, it just uh, the defense can't sag on me and things like that. So I just wanted to come out and be aggressive. You know, in the first half, I was aggressive in the second quarter. So I just wanted to keep that momentum um, going from the second quarter to the third quarter. You know, my shots were just falling and it felt good. Um, you know, I'm back at home, so it just feels good to be at home and play in front of my family and things like that. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just happy that, you know, we, we got the win. Uh, for my situation in the game, yeah, I got two really quick fouls, questionable calls. Um, but my main objective was, you know, just stay focused, come in. And, you know, I knew in the second half, we all talked in the locker room just about what we needed to do coming in um, to the game for the third quarter. And that was just to be aggressive, um, play to our strengths. Um, and that's exactly what we did. So. And one quick follow up. Have you ever, either one of you seen Sam Thomas jump so high? on that big block at the end. Yeah, Sam got bunnies. If you guys didn't know that Sam got bunnies, he got the vertical and everything. So that's why we were the part of So yeah, you can tell him I said that. All right, Kim. Um, what was the biggest difference for you guys tonight compared to USC on Sunday? Um, I think we were just really aggressive and we knew you know, we had to bounce back. Um, our shots weren't falling at USC. You know, some of our shots weren't falling here, but we just knew that we had to stay aggressive and not, you know, be stagnant with the basketball and just move the ball and just be patient with our uh, or patient with our uh, ball screens and everything like that and just with our plays because we knew we could score if we're just patient with it. Javi? Uh, ben, do how many family and friends are there attending and, and how important was it to you for you to a big game like that um so for this game there was only like about like 25 people for the Oregon game I'm about to have like 50 um and it was just important because this is the first time I played um, at Oregon State since I I've been in college um in high school I used to play here all the time and so I just love this gym I love being back at home loving seeing having my family see me play you know close to home and things like that so it's just been you know it's been a good win for us and I think it was just more about bouncing back from USC um and that's what I was working uh, focus on do you have any more questions for the student athletes? Awesome. Thank you and Shana Bendu. Great game tonight. And um, thank you. See you guys Sunday, Saturday. Appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right. Can you hear me, Coach Barnes? Yeah. Cool. Awesome. All right, guys. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll get started with our usual statement from Coach Barnes. And then we'll uh, hop into some questions. Just please remember to use the raise hand feature and I'll just go in order that way. And with that said, Coach Barnes, if you want to get us kicked off. I'm really proud of our team. Um, it wasn't a perfect game, but it was a gritty game that showed our character, especially after a bad loss in L.A. Um, you know, I always say that your true character shows when things are um, tough and not when it's 70 and sunny outside and things are peachy. So I thought that we responded. We played some great defense and just played Arizona basketball, but it's not our best basketball. But I'm just proud that we found a way to get stops when we needed to. All right, Dylan, if you want to get us started with question. Yeah. How do you feel about Shana's overall performance leading up thought, to that I shot? Thought Shana, I thought, Dylan, I thought Shana was huge today. I thought, um, you know, she's been out for, you know, like 10 days. And I think that for her to come back, you know, doesn't really have her wind yet. And just to have Lauren and Shana back was just huge for us. Um, and she once again came up with a big shot down the stretch. I thought a shot that even got, there was a little bit of contact, but it was a big play and she had the, um, the courage to take it. And I think get, having the ball in her hands at the last second is what we want you know, her to do. But I thought Shana, I thought Bendu was huge and extremely efficient again. I thought once again, Sam comes up with a huge defensive play um, to tip it at the end. I thought Lauren and Kate did a really good job guarding the post. Um, you know, Oregon State's a really good team and they run a, a very good pick and roll offense. And we threw different things at, our, at them. And, uh, you know, sometimes they punched us and scored some good plays. But we made cru crucial um, stops when we needed to. And that's what matters. PJ? Yeah. Um, Bandu had a big game, coming, you know, coming home, I guess you could say. And um, she did it on both. You know, we look at the offense, but she did it on defense. She was all hands, got a bunch of big steals. She played defense that didn't show up in the stats today. What do you say about that? 
I say that's the Bendu I know. Um, that's the Bendu that's earned this starting position. That's the Bendu that's consistently showing up every day that I see in practice. She's someone we count on and she's someone that comes up with plays at the moments that we really need her. And I think that's what a great player does. Um, she finds a way to get a stop, finds a way to get a steal, finds a way to score when she needs to. And um, she's an extremely unselfish player. So uh, to me, she does a lot of dirty work, her, Sam, Bendu, that doesn't show up on stat sheets, but that makes our team great. Um, and that's what we need. And I think without them doing what they do, all five of our starters and the rest of our team, we're not where we are today, losing one game. So I'm um, just proud of the way they played and how they stepped up big time. Uh, hey, Adia, uh, just talk about how important it was to get Lauren and, and um, you know, Shana back out there after they've been out for a while. Extremely important. You know, it, just because of our defensive identity, the chemistry that, that group has, think about it. Those are the returners from last year that went to the championship. So when you, when you look at Lauren, Bendu, Shana, Kate, they know our system. And they know what we do, how we do it, the rotation. So, uh, you know, the, a lot of the other players, they're new to it and they're still learning. And for us to have a little month hiatus, <laughs> um, you know, we're kind of where we would be normally in November. So um, having them back, it just enabled us to, to play the defense that we need to. And um, I thought we were solid down the stretch. And also they have an advantage because our returners, they know what it's like to play in Corvallis. You know, for a lot of our newcomers, they've never played here. They don't, they've never played in the Pac-12. So they're learning. I thought Haraya, Araya was great at the bench. I thought Maddie Taylor gave us good minutes. I thought everybody did their job. And you know, I wanted to go a little bit deeper, but I think at certain times we've kind of stuck with people that know our rotations and our offense. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll be able to play more people on Sunday we, or Saturday. We have a really good team, you know, playing against Oregon. So, um, you know, we can go a little bit deeper on Saturday. Kim? When did you make that decision that you thought it would be okay to go bring them back in? Um, I made that decision today at shoot around. Um, at shoot around, I limited both of them because I wanted to make sure I was making a decision that's going to set them up for success. Um, I wasn't going to play Lauren if I didn't think she was fit enough, but she's been running the last you know week and a half. Um, and I felt that I talked to her about it and we have a good relationship. So she's honest with me. And I, you know, I'm really concerned about her long-term health and us, us being healthy in a month, two months um, from now. So she looked good. We agreed on limiting her minutes, like just in spurts. And I thought she handled it really well. She was definitely prepared and ready. So once I saw how she was the first few minutes, I was more confident playing her again. But she makes a difference. She's a great communicator, a great post player. Um, she's a great on-ball defender. So, you know, I, I felt comfortable playing with her when I talked to her and looked at her this morning. And Shana too. Shana, I wasn't sure if I was going to play her either. PJ? Yeah, Sam had another um, phenomenal uh, uh, performance on, especially on, on defense tonight. Friday night, she, you know, she, she basically stopped Legger Walker. And yeah. then tonight she played really, again, textbook D and then coming up with the big play at the end. Um, you know, I know she's consistent, but tonight she looked even th like there was a little bit more to her game. What well, do you think about that? I felt that she wanted it a little bit more. I, our starters and our team wanted this one more because if we would have played this way against USC, we would have won the game. I thought that a sense of urgency was different. The focus was different. Um, and we came up with key stops. I thought we fought a little harder. We're not in shape right now. Um, you know, a lot of teams aren't because they, you know, being out with, uh, you know, most of the program having COVID and then coming back, like we're kind of rusty. And so we have to work back in shape. But to make these stops down the stretch in critical points in the game, really proud. Um, and I think our whole team was disappointed in our, out, in our not the win or the loss against USC, the way we performed and the way that we didn't fight back. So I think that they really took it personal. And we typically always bounce back um, successfully. I'm not talking about wins and losses. I'm talking about performance and effort. And we typically bounce back af after losses. And I thought that we did a really good job of that. And like Sam, Ben, do Shana. I mean, Shana was dying a little bit, <laughs> but she fought. And then she came up with a huge play at the end um, after being out, you know, a few weeks. So I think a lot of credit to both of them for coming back and making a big difference in this game. But any team without two starters, it, it's a big loss. Um, I felt like we still should have had chances to win, but it's, it's just different. So I'm proud of the way they stepped up and performed tonight. 
Do we have any more questions for Coach Barnes? Awesome. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Thank everybody. You. And we Bye. will uh, talk to you all on Saturday evening.